Now for you in medical rounds on this Wednesday, the testing process for COVID-19 is more complex than just showing up at a local testing site and more of those are popping up. There are some steps that you have to take before you decide to just go. Joining us right now is Dr. William Horgan. He is the uh, medical director of quality and safety at Bacchus and Wyndham hospitals. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us. I know you're incredibly busy right now. Thank you for having me. Good, night. Good let, evening. Let me ask you first, if we could talk a little bit about those steps. What is the process for someone who thinks they have the virus? I think a lot of people right now are like, oh my goodness, you know, I have a cough, I have this, I have that. What do people need to do here? So initially what they need to do is to see if they really um, require testing. And so those patients that have a primary care provider within Hartford Healthcare Medical Group, they would contact their provider who would assess that patient, whether they need um, uh, to have a test ordered. And then if they do, they would order the test and then they would be referred to one of our uh, drive-through testing sites. Now, just because you don't have a Hartford Healthcare Medical Group primary care provider, we wanna make sure that everybody that we care for within our community has access to that testing. And so those patients that aren't uh, managed by Hartford Healthcare Medical Group primary care, they can actually call the Hartford Healthcare Clinical Command Center at 1-860-972-8100. And what will happen is we will set up a virtual appointment with one of our Hartford Healthcare providers, and they will do a virtual visit, assess the patient, and um, at that time make the decision whether testing is required, and then refer them to one of the drive-through sites. Let me ask you, doctor, why so strict? Uh, a lot of people think it, it maybe should be easier, but right now that's not necessarily the case. Why, why is this process like this? Well, it's really strict because, again, it's about you know, stopping the potential spread of this virus. And so one of the great things about the drive-through testing is that we're taking those you know, patients that potentially would be going to the emergency department or to their primary care's office or to urgent care. And what we're doing is we're actually directing them to these you know, drive-through testing sites that Hartford HealthCare has. And what that does is that frees up the emergency department, primary care, and urgent care to use their resources for other members of our community that need medical care also reducing the likelihood of exposure of those receiving care in those different scenarios from people that are potentially at risk. And then what we're able to do is, once we do the testing, then we're able to give you know, instructions to those patients on what to do after the testing, um, after, when they go home in regards to you know, staying in isolation. Well, we appreciate you joining us, Dr. Horgan. As I said, I know you are very busy. Everyone at Hartford HealthCare is working around the clock right now to keep the community safe. You mentioned a phone number there. We're gonna post all of that information for everyone at home right now on the Channel 3 app. Again, thank you for joining us right now and sharing this information. If you do wanna learn more, you can also do this. Go to hartfordhealthcare.org slash coronavirus. You can sign up for COVID-19 text alerts text COVID-19, no space or hyphen, to 31996. Again, a lot of information there, but we'll post all of it for you on the Channel 3 app.